Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Games Lost to the Ages. This is our Let's Play of Army Men Sarge's Heroes. It's good to have you with us. I'm Blitz. Let's get this mission started. This mission and the next one are uh, probably my favorites, just because of the stealth element involved. Kills there. Okay. They give you a lot of sniper ammo for this mission, too, which is nice. This guy. So you can either go down this way, but then you have to work with a minefield and guys above you and other stuff, or you can just go this way, it's a lot easier. Sweeper, but if you go that way, you deal with the mines, or you can just hop up here. It's a lot better. Yeah, we'll just do what we've been doing. Oh, there's a guy that gets stuck on something invisible. Works for me. Okay. That soldier up on that ridge there is. Good to go. Okay. Yeah, there's one more guy to take care of over there. And the tank. Careful that you don't blow up the bridge or you fail the mission because you can't get across the river. I'm assuming that means the tank blew up. Okay. Now, if you want to not have to deal with that... Um, minefield and everything. What you can do here is just jump on this building. It'll take some fall damage, but there's a uh, 
That's a bad script. Guy runs in the water and kills himself. There's a health pack in this building, so it's a wash. Good to go. With uh, the um, with the fall damage. That's a weapon. Well, there's another classic example of scripting problems there. It's funny how it despawns. Uh, I wonder if a bullet can clip through the wall. Nope. Sometimes, if you shoot, if you're far enough away, your shots will clip through the wall and you can, normally you can't shoot through walls, but there, you can exploit it sometimes. Start up the music again. I'm sorry, I just get a kick out of that. That's <laughs> those scripting things like that. I just merely scratch them. Good to go. I mean, despite all the flaws this game has, it's still awesome in my opinion. It's really fun. It can be challenging because it's crap like that. But hey, this is how it goes. Alright, see, now that's the stupid thing, though, in this game. Is that... Enemy shotguns have ridiculous range like that. So yeah, there are little quirky, annoying things that you have to deal with at times. That being one of them. I don't think there's anything in there. Check. Just boxes. That grenades. I mean, that's just ammo. That's grenades. Okay. Okay. He's behind a tree, though. Or not. 
Oh, man. Okay. I just got completely lucky there. Got a little arrogant. Almost paid for it. Come on. There we go. Who's this guy? He probably has a shotgun, if I'm guessing. I like that that bazooka hit me, though. I don't know. It's best not to think about it. Just like it's best not to think about how I dodged that. Good to go. I usually don't use grenades all that much, but this is one of those missions where they are particularly useful. And they give you a lot of them, so you might as well use them. Oh, here comes another stressful make or break jump. And they're nice enough to have a guy shoot at you as you're making the jump. And a helicopter. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh boy. You can actually just shoot down a helicopter with small arms fire. Like that. Apparently, so apparently two sniper shots can take down a helicopter. I'll let you figure out the logic behind that.
What? By whom? I skipped an entire section on the side of the map there. That's alright. It's just enemies and weapons. This is a lot quicker. And there you have it. That's the end of this episode. We'll see you in the next one.